We're in downtown Palm Harbor, the epicenter of good eating. And we're at Florida Avenue and 11th, so if you Google that, you'll know exactly where I'm standing. Because right from this spot, you can see, right over there, the Thirsty Marlin. Excellent seafood. Or you can go over here if you feel like Peggy O'Neill's, and you can get great Irish food. Or you can walk right over there and, to, and go to Fireside Pizza, where you can get a brick oven baked pizza to perfection. A margarita without salt. Ask them, they got it there. All this from this one little spot right here. Yeah, Florida's noted for great seafood restaurants, and the Thirsty Marlin is one of them. Hello, welcome to Thirsty Merlin. Well, thank you very much. It's a real, tour, real pleasure to be here. Now, tell me about this place. Well, we are located in downtown Palm Harbor, and we're located at 1023 Florida Avenue, and we are a specialty restaurant for seafood. Oh, seafood. Ooh. We get fresh grouper in from the um, Tarpon Marina. So we're here to sample some stuff. What would you suggest? Um, I like our grouper wrap. It's very delicious. Okay, well, good, good. Well, are we going to get some or are we just going to stand here? Yeah, come on. All right, I've got an appetizer for you. Ooh, what's this? That's our tuna sashimi from our sushi bar. Wow, so you have a sushi bar too. Yes, and we have specials, dollar sushi, every Monday and Tuesday night. Not that I've ever been there before, but it's <laughs> excellent. Well, this is great. Oh. What a beautiful presentation. Sashimi, which is tuna. Dip it in a little sauce. Take a nice bite of it. Oh man. That is delicious. Absolutely delicious. Now the other things on the plate for those of you from the Midwest. This stuff here, this green stuff, that's wasabi. And it is, it'll light you up. Hot like uh, horseradish, not pepper, but it's 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 hot like jalapeno. You wish it would be hot. So you take a little fish with that, dip it in there. Mm. Can you see my nostrils being opened up by the by the wasabi? Excellent. And then to cleanse the palate, a little pickled ginger. Whoop. Sorry about that. Excellent. And it's always good to have a nice appetizer for a start of a meal, but I wonder where our waitress is with the main course, or main courses even. Ooh, what do we have here? That is our Thirsty's Cheeseburger in Paradise with two strips of bacon on there. Bacon. I love bacon. <laughs> this is delicious. Now, now, I understand if you wanted to have a craft beer, you have craft beer here too? Yes. Florida's own Cigar City. Yes, actually brewed out in Tampa. Excellent, excellent. And if I wanted to have a beer and a burger, can I listen to a band here too? Absolutely. We do live music every Thursday through Saturday night. Excellent. Truly is a cheeseburger in paradise because it's a cheeseburger and in Florida, which is paradise. So let me uh, just uh, kind of look and see what's here. Well, cheeseburger. We got uh, burger. I want to remove the onions because I'm not an onion guy. Put the rest of it on here. Got a nice bun. Big piece of meat. Bacon, cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Aptly named Cheeseburger Paradise. French fries. Crispy. You can tell those potatoes inside, so it's not all, not eating all crust. Mmm. Good. Nice dill pickle. Because I eat a little bit of everything, just to make sure it's good. And slaw. Mm. It's a very creamy slaw. Little carrots in it. Nice cabbage. Good taste. That might be pretty good on the burger, too. All in all, it's a cheeseburger in paradise here at the Thirsty Model. Yeah, normally that would probably be enough for most human beings, but. 
hey, this is TV, and I know you guys expect more out of me. And of course, I expect more out of the Thirsty Marlin. Let's see what's coming next. Ooh, what do we got here? This is our cedar plank salmon served with mixed green beans and mashed sweet potatoes with brown cinnamon and mushrooms. Holy cow, this is it's wonderful. So if I wanted to have a drink after this, where would I go? You would go to the bar. Yeah, I understand you have a tiki bar. We do have a tiki bar, absolutely. Yes, it is open at 3 p.m. Oh, uh, Monday shirt. through Thursday. Goes with my shirt, so I should say. But, oh, this looks great. Let me, let me just dig into this then. Once again, I'm presented with an absolutely gorgeous plate. Salmon. She said there's vegetables on top of there, but I know those are onions. And there's a tree that grows out of here. But I don't know if the salmon comes that way or the restaurant puts it in. But it looks very, very nice. Green beans they have. Two different colors. So you got a little lighter green beans. And got a, lot of, a little darker green beans. They taste the same. It's quite nice. Nice little salty flavor on them. And then piste de resistance. Sweet potatoes. Oh man. Just the right amount of marshmallows on top of them. You guys from the south, you know what sweet potatoes are. This is great. And a little, take a little nibble of the salmon. Mm, it's great. Pacific Northwest fresh salmon, very, very good. All in all, a beautiful presentation and a wonderful meal. Boy, what a great meal. Again, I'm going to have to, I don't know, take a nap after this, or at least I didn't un unbutt my pants. Or just, a, just, a, just a tiny little notch, but I've eaten everything except the tree. This is rosemary, somebody told me, and you don't eat that. It's just for garnish. And it really was cooked on a plank. They weren't kidding. They weren't kidding. Everything is gone. Everything was delicious. Now, I think we should probably go say goodbye to our server since he was so nice to us the whole time we're here. So let's go, let's go find her someplace. Aha! I found her! Hey, thank you for inviting us. You're so welcome. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. So if we wanted to listen to a band on the weekends, if we wanted to drink at a tiki bar, and if we wanted really good seafood Florida style, where would we come? We will come to Thirsty Marlin in Palm Harbor. Cool. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> well, we're at another one of the fine restaurants in downtown Palm Harbor, Lulu's. Lulu's is a breakfast and lunch place, and lucky us, I think we're right at the exact time to have a little late lunch. Let's go. Howdy, you must be Lulu. Yes, hi Terry, nice to see you. <laughs> well, nice to see you. And where are we? Welcome to my restaurant, it's called Lulu's Beach House Cafe. Ah, Beach House Cafe. Now you have lunch here? We have breakfast, lunch, coffee, smoothies, and on the weekends we have beer and wine. Oh wow, so just about any day of the week you come here and have a good time. Yes sir. And good food? Uh, you, you'll have to let me know. Well, why don't we just go and taste some? Sounds good, right this way. Boy, Lulu, this looks great. These are all breakfast stuff, huh? Yeah. Now, tell me, tell me, why did you start this restaurant? Uh, we opened the middle of November. Middle of November. Yeah. And was this house a famous house or something? No, um, it was actually an architect's office. Oh, an architect's office. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's so well designed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well designed for a house, maybe not for a restaurant, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you had to do some changes? Yeah, it was a major renovation. I, mm -hmm. I can bet. Now, why did you decide to open a restaurant? Um, I have a little son and I like the idea of a family business. Ah, okay. So he's going to be waiting tables here pretty soon. Yep. He already does the dishes sometimes. <laughs> How old is he? Two and a half. Two and a half. Wow. So Lulu's is open for actually for your son then? Yeah, you could, for, for all of us, yeah. For all of us, okay. Yeah. This looks wonderful. Thank now, you very much. Tell me, about what, tell me about what's before me here. Okay, this is uh, our increasingly popular biscuits and gravy. Um, our chef makes it from scratch. Uh, so scratch popular. gravy. Yep, scratch pancakes, oatmeal pancakes. Oh. Um, and that is our breakfast Cuban. Uh, it comes with a chipotle dipping sauce. So this is a breakfast Cuban? What's the difference between a, a regular Cuban and a breakfast Cuban? It's eggs, ham, and Swiss. Oh, eggs, ham, and Swiss. Mm. A little chipotle sauce. 
Mm, that's good. I like a Cuban egg sandwich. Breakfast Cuban. Breakfast Cuban. Mm, and right here at Lily. Now, you mentioned something about oatmeal pancakes. Yep. Uh, syrup. Oh, don't mind if I do. Mmm. Take a little taste of these. I love pancakes. Mmm. Those are good pancakes. <laughs> sausage? Yep. Try a little bit of sausage too because I was raised in southern Missouri. Yep. So sausage is we a good thing. We all like a, a good big breakfast. Oh yeah, that is delicious. That is delicious. And your fries here? Home kind of fries. They're just nice fries. traditional. No salt, no pepper. A little bit, just a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yep. And the biscuits and gravy? Biscuits and gravy made from scratch. Now where's your chef from? Uh, he's a local Palm Harbor. He's been around. Oh, okay. He's a personal chef for, I believe, 16 years. And then he's worked a couple of places in the area. He knows gravy too. He does. The man knows gravy. Mm -hmm. Biscuits and gravy, sausage, pancakes, eggs, of course. And a Cuban breakfast sandwich with a little chipotle sauce on it. Not a bad way to start the day. No. Now the fruit. This is all local fruit, I take it? Yep. Mmm, blueberries too. We sell a lot of fruit. We have a healthy community. This is good. Healthy blueberry. We did a blueberry show that was great. And a strawberry show too. Now. That is an iced mocha latte. Iced mocha latte. I have to stop and tell you that it's good, but you can probably tell the red suck it out. It's pretty good. Good. Mm, what's the topping on this? A little whipped cream? Yep. Dark chocolate. Oh, dark chocolate, not just regular chocolate. Oh, that's good. Mmm. And before I take another sip of this, now you've got a website? Yeah, um, lulusbeachhouse.com. Lulusbeachhouse.com. Yep, and we have a Facebook page and a Twitter. Um, you just have to search for us. And your Facebook, you just search for Lulu's. Yep, Lulu's and Beach House. Yep. Lulu's Beach House and you'll find it. Yep. Well, Lulu, thank you, thank very, you very much. much. Downtown Palm Harbor, here we are. Downtown Palm Harbor is kind of a cool place because you can get seafood at, say, like a uh, place like the uh, Thirsty Marlin. You can go to breakfast at Lulu's right behind me. Uh, you can go up the street and have a great pizza at Fireside Pizza. And... And Peggy O'Neill's is here. Not only is it a good Irish pub, but they also have good food, which is, if you know anything about Ireland and Britain and their food, eh, having good food is a rarity, but they've got good food here. Hey, how you doing? Welcome, Terry. Thanks, thanks for coming out to Peggy O'Neill's. Well, well, thank you. Your name is Eric? Eric Weber. I knew that because I was reading your shirt. Yeah, I clued myself <laughs> in. <laughs> I usually wear one, but well, not today. What can I say? Now, where are we at? Yeah, Peggy O'Neill's Irish Pub and We're in the old downtown district of Palm Harbor. It's 1026 Florida Avenue. Yep. Uh, zip code's 34683. We're in a you know 19th century building, and uh, yeah. we've been an Irish pub for eight years, serving up all kinds of great Irish food as well as some great American bar favorites. Yeah, we've heard about your food. It's supposed to be really good. Well, we whipped up a little Reuben sandwich and our uh, famous, uh, real famous fish and chips for you today. Ooh, cool. So can we sample some of that? Absolutely. Let's go get something out of the kitchen for you. All right. I'm right behind you. Uh, Eric, what did our kitchen leprechauns bring us? Uh, the leprechauns brought out our famous Reuben sandwich. It's a mile high pile of uh, corned beef on marble rye bread, Swiss cheese, and our own homemade Thousand Island sauce, a little sauerkraut to finish. How's that luck of the Irish treating you? Mmm. Good. Finger looking good. Mm -hmm. And the dressing, homemade? Homemade. Oh man. It's a righteous Reuben. He says he took another bite. Mmm, this is very good. <laughs> so anything special about the bread? Yeah, it's just, you know, marble, good marble. We use thick crust, so when you grill it, we put the cheese on the bread, so that way the, you know, the, the sandwich doesn't get soggy. So just a couple of, you know, tips. You know, I've been uh, in the restaurant business 30 years, chef, mm. all that good stuff, so got a few tricks to make the better better sandwiches. Boy, this is a good one. Mmm, mm, thanks, Eric. What else we got? So that's right, we got some fish and chips for you. Oh, okay, let's go get them. All right. 
Oof, and there they are, fish and chips. Fish and chips. This is our world famous fish and chips. Uh, Self-proclaimed, but soon to be true. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's hand battered here on premise in our own beer batter with homemade coleslaw, French fries. A homemade beer batter? A homemade beer batter. We serve about 20, 25,000 orders a year of this. Oh, man. Yep. Oh, good. Can it taste good? Good fish. Yeah. Oh, it's good beer. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> good beer. You know, I learned a long time ago. If you want to have good food, you got to have good beer. A little for the uh, pot and a little for the chef. Oh, this is good. This is really good. And you have coleslaw. And coleslaw, homemade coleslaw. And French fries. fries. French fries. And then we serve it with our real famous tartar sauce as well, which we make, you know, in-house. Mm, I'm going to dip some of the tartar sauce right now. I'm pretending. It's not really here. But we're going to pretend, right? <laughs> we'll bring it out. All right. If you have to be world famous, it has to start someplace, right? Absolutely. And why not? If here? you don't toot your own one, who will? That's right, by golly. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got... Uh, Great coleslaw, French fries, well chips actually. Chips, chips, yeah. And great fish. Beer battered, hand, hand battered, hand battered, hand beaten, hand beaten, fresh to water. Got the and good. No. Mmm. You know me. This is delicious, and it makes me think of something to drink with it. All right. Well, we got a full bar here at Pedro Nails. We. We make all kinds of different martinis and mojitos. We got a great Bloody Mary. Uh, we also have um, 14 beers on tap. Uh, we have about eight craft beers. Eight craft beers? Yeah, eight crafty beers. We also got a, another uh, couple dozen craft beers by the bottle as well. So we got just about everything to quench your thirst. Oh, wow. So that, that, boy, that sounds great. Oh, with a nice Sam Adams Oktoberfest beer or a, or a Black and Tan or Guinness Stout, of course. If you're an Irish probably you got to have Guinness Stout. No, that's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> We got Jameson Irish whiskey, so you gotta have a little Irish whiskey too. That may be for after dinner. Okay. <laughs> Boiler maker. <laughs> now, you guys got a website? We have a website. It's PeggyO'Neill's.com. Mm -hmm. It shows you uh, all our specials. We got great specials every day of the week from dollar tacos on Monday and two for one appetizers on Tuesday, two for one burgers on Wednesday, and on Thursday we have two for one fish and chips. So, yeah. you know, yeah, two of these for what? Two of these for the price of one. Wow. Peggy O'Neill's. Wow. Yeah. Live music on Friday and Saturday nights. And then we got 40 TVs to show all the football games and baseball games, hockey, etc. So you could just about live here then? I've been living here for about 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now you got a Facebook thing too? We got Facebook, we got Twitter, we got, uh, we're working all that Instagram and Flickr okay, okay. and Tumblr and uh, whatever else, uh, all the. And all, the social, can, all the social media. And now you can see yourselves on uh, Tasting the City, too. On Tasting the City next. Cool, cool. Well, hey, we're about ready to get out of here. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks much. for stopping in. Glad you enjoyed it. Oh, this is delicious. Thanks for See you soon. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, we're at uh, Fireside Pizza and Cafe at 1104 Nebraska in Palm Harbor. And we've been told about this place many, many times. We're finally getting here. And so we're going to try their pizza. Now I'm inside. How you doing? Good, how are you? What's your name? Joseph Barbara. Joseph Barbara, and where are we? We're in Fireside Pizza Cafe, downtown Palm Harbor. Wow. How, how long have you had this restaurant? It's been almost exactly two years. Well, we've been hearing a lot of raves about it. Very good. Yes, we've, we're real pleased how the community's embraced us. The community has, and, and sent us here to, to sample your pizzas. Very good. Glad and, to share. And your pizza is a little unique, right? Yes, we cook it in a real authentic wood-burning pizza oven um, that was hand-built. Um, cooks at over 850, 900 degree oven. Oh wow! Yeah. How long does it take to cook a pizza? Around a little over four minutes, start to finish. Wow! So 850 degrees, four minutes, and we're done. Yes. Wow. Now, speaking of which, um, I see some pizza they're making back there. Uh, do you think you might be able to get us one? Absolutely. We'll give you a couple to try. Cool. Then let's go. Mozzie's rolling. As you're kneading the dough, right? Yes, sir. Gets big.
bigger and now you spin it. Okay. I have a feeling I'm watching a true artisan work here. Some days, yes. <laughs> Secret sauce, right? Yes, sir. Mmm. And the cheese. Mozzarella? Mozzarella. I understand this is fresh mozzarella, right? Yes, sir. That's a little cornmeal. This is uh, actually semolina flour. Semolina flour. Ah! More secrets we're gleaning to make you uh, margarita now. A margarita? Yes, sir. Oh, wow. We've kneaded the dough. Spin it around a little bit. Just a little bit. And this is a margarita we're making? Yes, sir. So do you put salt on the rim? No, no salt. Oh, okay, this no salt on the rim. Just flour, just something in the flour. Never had a margarita like this one. Mozzarella again. Mozzarella and crushed, crushed, hand crushed tomato. Hand crushed tomatoes. Hand crushed Roma tomatoes. Crushed oh, garlic. Boy. Crushed garlic. And this is buffalo mozzarella. Buffalo mozzarella. Yes. Same thing that we use in Naples, Italy. Oh, olive oil. Extra virgin or Extra just virgin? Yep. Okay. Ooh. All right, going in the oven. Now, how long does that one cook? This one is going to take me about less than three minutes. Less than three. Wow. Less than three minutes. Get a little bit more wood. So this really is wood powered. Then you can also dome the pizza, like so. When you say dome the pizza, you're putting it up in the top of the dome? Yep, where it's about 1,200. 1,200 degrees? Holy cow. You could toast marshmallows in there, couldn't yes, you? Yes, we can. Excellent. <laughs> but let's not add that to the menu. Okay, okay. Well, it's the first time I've had a margarita out of the oven, so oh, I thought, well, you know, maybe marshmallows too. Why not? Right, why not? <laughs> and this is done. Oh boy. About three minutes and boom, it's done. Secret spices? A little bit, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's your pizza. Oh boy. We'll just go snag that pizza in a minute. Right. Ooh. Oh boy. This is the margarita. And this is cheese. Ooh. Where do I start first? Joe, come on over here. I'm looking over all this. Mine's did a great job on these. These are wonderful. Yes, he takes pride in all the pizzas he makes. Told me that this is the first uh, margarita I've ever had without salt on the rim. Yeah, there's a lot of variations of margaritas. Ours is very unique to, to us. I'm thinking the one I drink, that kind of margarita. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you have to explain a joke, but okay. Oh, this is good. The cheese is like, it's very good. And what's the cheese on here now? It's a fresh mozzarella. The fresh mozzarella. Yeah. It's a different texture than the usual melted cheese on, on, a, on, a, on a pizza. That yeah, it's, it's actually, uh, it's kneaded into little balls and it's made, um, well, in a, in a brine solution in little balls and it's um, 
cut as we need it. Mm. So it's just more dense, it's a very creamy style. Oh, and the basil in here? Fresh basil. In yes. Oh man, that is delicious. That is delicious. Mm. Well, let me try a little bit of this. Look at that, I picked it out with my hand. You guys, cheese guys, know what that means. Mm. Mm. Classic Italian, classic Italian pizza. Just a light sauce. We make our sauce fresh here. Mm. We use the finest mozzarella cheeses. We blend a few of them in house. This is a great pizza. Great pizza. And only in about three minutes. So tell them about your place. You've got a website, right? Well, right now we're operating out of Facebook. Uh, we have a, you know, obviously a Fireside Pizza uh, Cafe Facebook page. We have, hopefully in the near future, our website will be up. It'll be firesidepizzacafe.net. Um, it's under construction. And, uh, and, all, and then just common search sites, you know, the urban spoon, the Yelp, and things like that. What? This is great pizza. Joe, thanks for having us here. We Thank appreciate you. it. This is wonderful. Thanks for coming. And if you're in the, in the market for a good three and a half minute pizza that's not DiGiorno or something like that, this is wonderful stuff. Thank you guys.